Pleasure to welcome Charlotte to Major League Soccer as our 30th team. Well, by 2021, soccer fans will cheer on their very own MLS team at Bank of America Stadium, thanks to Panthers owner David Tepper. Obviously, there are a lot of questions about this new franchise and the changes coming to Charlotte. Sports director Phil Orban sat down with Panthers president Tom Glick this morning to ask a lot of those key questions you might have. Yeah, and the one thing that caught our attention is how many people are already interested in buying season tickets? For well over a year, Tom Glick, president of Tepper Sports and Entertainment, has overseen the pursuit of a major league soccer team in Charlotte. Three weeks ago, the city was formally awarded the 30th MLS franchise. With the club's first game set to kick off in 14 months, I sat down with Glick to ask, what's next? Everything's next is, 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 probably, the, is probably the answer. Um, you know, everything from uh, building our fan base and, and actually uh, working with the fans to build this club. We have to, to create a name, colors, uh, a badge, uh, a uniform. These are you know, foundational things, very exciting. We're involving our fans in that process. Um, and then of course there's uh, the uh, small, small bit of building a team and a team that can compete from the beginning and be a winning team. What's your timeline? What's your kind of order of operations for this thing? Well, we, di we divide things into parallel tracks. So we have, uh, we have a group of people who are working on just hiring a team. We have a team of people working on the stadium, the renovations to have it be ready to go. You know, we're already a great place to watch soccer. We're going to make it a little bit better. So there's a team working on that. We have a team working on you know, building our business, uh, everything from the, the brand and the colors. And then the fourth would be our, our team that's working on building the, the squad. All right, let's talk about building your brand now. You said 20,000 season ticket deposits have been put down. In just three weeks, we have deposits for 20,000 more now than 20,000 uh, season tickets. You know, the lower bowl from the suites uh, down is only 36,000, which is what we're focused on. So uh, I think it's important that if anybody's thinking about getting in, that they just they get in now. The deposits are only $50. They're refundable if they change their mind. But uh, it's going well and it's going fast, and it's very exciting for all of us who are involved. You're going to have a group of passionate soccer fans that you knew were going to support you, but how do you market to the people like my neighbors that I was talking to on New Year's Eve that said, hey, we're interested, but I don't know anything about soccer. How do you speak to them? We want to make sure that it's not uh, intimidating or confusing, which sometimes soccer across the world can be because there are so many competitions. So, so I expect that we'll do this one-on-one -on -one and in group settings and through media uh, to uh, allow uh, all of the sports fans who don't yet classify themselves as soccer fans to become more comfortable and more confident uh, in the sport of soccer as they get ready to become a fan of their new team. What is the plan for the stadium renovations? How do you balance that schedule with the, the Panthers' uh, needs for the stadium? And, and I would imagine this is something you've been thinking about for a long time. A lot of the work that we're doing is behind the scenes, so it doesn't, would not impact uh, a ticketed event that we do. So when Billy Joel comes, we'll be doing work behind the scenes inside the stadium. You know, we, we have a list of things to make soccer even better at Bank of America Stadium, and it's already great, and that's why the attendances are so good, because it's such a good place to watch. But we'll be putting new television camera placements in to make it even better on television new soccer locker rooms, a cent central tunnel, so, uh, so we'll have a new, a new way for players to process out, uh, some special areas for supporters behind one of the goals on the east side. The proposed uh, Eastland Mall site for the practice facility, what do you want that sp space to look like when it's finished? It's a great part of our city. Uh, it has huge potential. Uh, we, uh, we will endeavor to create through partnership um, something that becomes a, a real amenity for, for the people who live on the east side of Charlotte, a place that they want to go and spend time. We expect that, that, that it can be anchored by the facilities for the senior team, our academy, the headquarters of the club, facilities for the community. And then it's a big site at 70 acres, so lots of other things as part of that, uh, of that development. There was some pushback to the, the commitment of public funds um, when the team was announced. What would you say to those people that um, would say, hey, we'd like an input into how our money's spent, and how do you build that public-private relationship moving forward? Well, I think the most important thing to understand is that uh, it's not finalized. We'll be guided as much by the city and the neighborhood as, uh, as anything else. We have an amazing partnership with, uh, with Mayor Lyles and with the City Council on a number of levels, including soccer. Uh, it's very important to them 
that we focus on Eastland as a place to build the headquarters of this club. The vast majority of the, of the funding that's been described is really focused on Eastland. And, um, and so we're going we're gonna to work hard to try to figure that out and build something amazing. As for when the MLS team can be expected to hire a head coach, Tom Glick told me they expect the hire to be someone who is currently leading a club and that the search should last for the next three to four months. Back to you. And if you're interested in putting down a deposit on season tickets, you can find a link to the website on our free WSOC TV news app, and you can find it under Phil's story.